Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out here uh, to remember Ruben Salazar, uh, August 29, 1970. Uh, Ruben Salazar uh, was slain. He was shot here by the alley sheriff, shot in the head, and he died. And we're here to remember Ruben Salazar. But also Lynn Ward and Angel Diaz, who were also killed down the street on the same day. Uh, we, we're here to remember uh, the martyrs of the Chicano Moratorium of the Chicano Movement uh, who died uh, during the Mexican-American Civil Rights Movement. Uh, they gave their lives uh, so that others could have a better chance and opportunity to live. And also, they gave their lives to improve living conditions uh, for La Raza. And so here we are today to remember Ruben Salazar, who died on August 29, 1970. Uh, also to remember uh, the other people who died also uh, in memory so that their lives do not go in vain. Uh, let us remember Ruben Salazar. Okay, we have a couple of speakers here. Uh, I'd like to uh, introduce Augustine Savala. Hello, here we are again, as we have been over the years since 1970, and we're dealing with uh, an animal that's in the White House that's against the Rasa, and we have all these uh, things that have happened to us, like Ruben Salazar being killed over here in the, in the Silver Dollar, uh, there has never been a real indication of who really killed Ruben Salazar and why he was killed. Our, th our position is that he was killed because he was very helpful to the Chicano movement and they had to get rid of, they had to get rid of him. He was, he, was, he was the head of, he ran KMEX back then and he was also the head of the uh, editorial page of the LA Times and he was very, you know, he would speak to all, for the Rasa a lot, He'd, anything we said he would say yes, that's true, that's going on because he had grown up in El Paso, Texas, and then he went to, to, get to Mexico and the head of the, uh, the, uh, the LA Times section down there in Mexico City. Then he went to Vietnam, then he came back here. And he was very seasoned, very sharp, very person who was, we could be, he could be trusted. Now we have a lot of these people that are spokesperson for, for, for the Raza and they're not anything we had to go back we have to we really have to find out who really killed ruben salazar and what was the motive behind it i think we know what the motive was however we have to really find out who was the people who are moving behind it me personally i think it was the cia that did it because that's the way they they act and we're going to turn this over to a young lady 
Okay, I'd like to uh, recognize uh, Dr. John uh, Fernandez, who is an historian in our community, and he will also say a few words. Yes, we're here today to honor and commemorate the August 29th, 1970 Chicano Moratorium against the war in Vietnam. We're also here to pay tribute to Ruben Salazar, who died right here at the Silver Dollar Saloon. There is a small plaque at uh, Salazar Park, but that's not enough. We want a thorough historical legal investigation. The truth has not come out. We want to know also that there were four other, I think there were four others that were killed. What were the circumstances? Nobody really talks about those people that were killed. We understand that this police riot was actually planned. So we want a thorough investigation. We want the County Board of Supervisors to support this uh, investigation. We want the LA City Council to support the investigation. The truth has to come out. There are too many questions. There are too many problems. The inquest into the death of Ruben Salazar was a joke. It was a fraud. The truth has to come out and it has to be written and investigated so our youngsters, our Chicano youngsters and Latinos can understand the true circumstances of the Chicano moratorium and that riot and so it never happens again. Thank you very much. Okay, at this time uh, we're going to march to Salazar Park in memory of Ruben Salazar, Lynn Ward, and Angel Diaz who died. We will stop at the different locations where they died at and say a few words for, for them. Also to remember in what's going on, uh, Donald Trump pardoned um, Sheriff Apayo in Arizona. Uh, he, his, his crime that he did was in humanity, it was against the Raza. Sheriff Apayo was convicted for mistreating the Raza in the streets. And he was, he was sentenced to six months in jail and President Trump pardoned him. So we are here to protest President Trump and his decision to pardon uh, Sheriff Apayo. Let us march.
Okay, here we are. We're uh, t here to remember Ruben Salazar. And uh, we're also here to remember on August the 29th, not only Ruben Salazar was here, but, but here at this location, Lynn Ward, 15-year-old Lynn Ward Brown Beret, was killed at, uh, at this location in which a bomb went off uh, and blew him through the window here. And Lynn Ward uh, died uh, as a result of his wounds. So also, uh, Angel Diaz was also killed down the street, shot in the back by the sheriff down the street. I just want to remember those Ruben Salazar, Lynn Ward, and Angel Diaz. Now, Lynn Ward was a brown beret, and we put this monument, we put this monument to him uh, to remember him. And let us not forget the sacrifices that they made so that life could be better for all of us. Let us not forget that they gave their lives so that we can have better lives and so that our children can have better lives in the future. 
So I would say, Viva Lynn Ward. Viva Lynn Ward. Viva Lynn Ward. Brown Beret. Viva Lynn Ward. Viva La Raza. Viva La Raza. 